In this video we're going to talk about the quadratic formula and using the quadratic formula to solve quadratic equations. Now the quadratic formula says this, the solution or solutions to the equation ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero are given by this formula. x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, now that's a messy looking formula, but I think it'll be very helpful if you memorize uh, this, this formula. Now also, this formula does not just drop out of the sky. It turns out you can derive this formula using a technique uh, called completing the square. Okay, well we're just going to use this formula to help us solve quadratic equations. And the great thing about this formula is that it works no matter what your quadratic equation is. Now some quadratic equations you can factor, um, but other ones you can't. Okay, so sometimes factoring works, sometimes it doesn't, but the quadratic formula will always work. Okay, so let's do an example. And this one is one that we're going to be able to use uh, both factoring and the quadratic formula. Okay, so solve x squared minus 5x plus 6 equals 0. How do we solve this using factoring? Okay, so let's factor the left-hand side. And I think it will factor to be x minus 3 times x minus 2. Okay, because x times x is x squared, we have a minus 3x and a minus 2x. That gives us minus 5x. And finally, minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6. So this works. So notice that our solutions are x equals 3 and also x equals 2. We have two solutions, 3 and 2. Okay, that was pretty simple, right? As long as you know how to factor, that was pretty simple. Now, using the quadratic formula, it's a little bit messier, right? It's, uh, so what we have to do is to say what a, b, and c are. So that's always your first step with the quadratic formula. Notice it's of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Here the a is 1, the b is minus 5, and the c is 6. Okay, and it's helpful to write out the quadratic formula a few times when you're first getting started and you're trying to memorize this formula. I think one of the easiest ways to memorize the formula is to just write it out a bunch of times. Okay, so we get x equals negative b, but that's negative negative 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, but b is minus 5, so minus 5 squared, minus 4ac, but a is 1 and c is 6, all over 2a. Okay, and a is 1. So let's simplify this. Negative negative 5 is just 5, plus or minus the square root of, well, it's going to be 25, right, minus 5 squared, uh, and then minus 4 times 1 times 6, that's minus 24. Okay, all over 2. But notice this is 5 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 2, and so that's 5 plus or minus 1 over 2. So it's really two solutions, 5 plus 1 over 2, which is 6 over 2, which is 3, and 5 minus 1 over 2, which is 4 over 2, which is 2. So notice we got the same two answers. Now which technique looked easier? Well, I think the factoring, notice there's much less work involved when we're doing factoring. So if you can factor a quadratic equation, then that's really the way to go. Okay, but sometimes uh, you can't factor the quadratic equation. There's no nice way to do it without getting a bunch of square roots and things like that. So you're kind of forced to use the quadratic formula. And this next example uh, is an example like that. We have 3x squared minus 1 equals 5x. Now, again, we have to gather everything over on one side of the equation, so we're going to subtract subtract 5x from both sides. We get 3x squared minus 5x minus 1 equals 0. So here our a is 3, our b is negative 5, and our c is negative 1. Okay, so if we plug things in, we get negative negative 5 plus or minus the square root of negative 5 squared. Our b is also negative 5 in this problem, same as the previous one. Uh, minus 4ac, so 4 uh, times a, but a is 3, and c is minus 1. Okay, all over 2a. So what we get here is 5, negative and negative 5 is 5, plus or minus the square root of 25, and notice it's minus 4 times 3 times minus 1, but the two minuses will become a plus, so it's really plus 12 over 6. So what we get is 5 plus or minus the square root of 37 over 6. And that's our answer. I mean, it's really two answers. There's two solutions, 5 plus the square root of 37 over 6, and 5 minus the square root of 37 over 6. Okay, so we have really two solutions here.
Okay, let's do one more, and this one's going to illustrate something different. Uh, here, here we're going to end up having some some eyes, some imaginary numbers in here. So uh, we have 2x squared plus 3x minus 7. If we add 7 to both sides, we get 2x squared plus 3x plus 7 equals 0. So our a here is 2, our b is 3, and our c is 7. And if we plug it into the quadratic formula, we get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so that would be 3 squared minus 4ac, but the a is 2 and the c is 7, all over 2a, 2 times 2. So we get negative 3 plus or minus the square root of, it'll be 9 minus, well notice 4 times 2 is 8 and 8 times 7 is 56, all over 4. And notice we're going to get a square root of a negative number. We have 3 plus or minus the square root of negative. And let's see, what is that? 47? 9 minus 56 would be negative uh, 47 all over 4. But notice the square root of negative 47, that's the same thing as the square root of 47 and then times i. Okay, all over 4. So we really have th uh, two solutions, negative 3 plus the square root of 47 times i over 4, and negative 3 minus the square root of 47 times i over 4.